bum, 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 but nah, I probably shouldn't do that because, you know, copyright stuff. But hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Off the Bottom, is coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Hot Toys MMS 320 of Kylo Ren from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, this is actually a bit of a treat for us Hot Toy collectors because more times than often, the figures are released way after the movies have already come out. And this came out a little bit before the movie released, actually. Which, like I said, is a bit of a treat for us. Now, for the package, you can see that it just says Star Wars on there. It doesn't actually say The Force Awakens anywhere on here, but this is the villain from The Force Awakens. We all know that. Uh, you got a nice image of him here. Uh, just a regular black background. You got two tones of black on there. You kind of got this lighter grayish kind of color here. Uh, on the other side, it kind of carries over. Top section here just shows Star Wars. Bottom... Star Wars. Back of the package has the various warnings and things of that nature. And then uh, it is a bit of a shoebox sort of package. So you just open it just like so. And you got this really cool image of Kylo with his lightsaber. And then you got a couple of the stormtroopers in the background. You got some TIE fighters. Really very cool looking package. And then you just slip this off just like so. And one thing I'm noticing is, it's like, where's the, the cast and the crew? The, I, I don't see that anywhere on this. It's kind of strange. Usually that would be on here. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm searching for it. Because, yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I'm knocking stuff over, but I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's what I was already looking at. So that's kind of strange. But on the inside here, you can see the nice clamshell that, that protects the figure and all the accessories. Really nice, but pretty simple packaging on this. So without further ado, let's get this guy out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Kylo Ren opened up and out of his packaging. And honestly, uh, while the figure is really very cool, the set as a whole, I'm a bit disappointed in. As you can see, he doesn't come with a heck of a lot of stuff uh, for his accessories. This is basically it. Uh, you can see that in addition to two kind of relaxed hands that he has, uh, he's got a right hand that is in the fist, and then he's got a right hand that is kind of designed, obviously, to hold his lightsaber. Uh, some real nice detail in here in terms of the sculpting. Not uh, too much in terms of paint variations or anything like that, but some really nice, you know, stitching work and things like that. So... Uh, I do appreciate it. Very simple, but it is accurate to the you know, actual costume. And then he's got uh, three left hands. Again, you got a fist and then a uh, open hand here used to uh, hold his lightsaber. And then you've got a left hand in this, you know, force wave kind of pose uh, with his fingers kind of spread. Uh, it's something that he used a lot in the film. I'm not going to get into too many spoilers with this. I'm going to try to keep this, you know, a spoiler-free, friendly kind of uh, video. Uh, he does come with two additional wrist pegs, which is fairly standard. Uh, then he uh, comes with his unlit version of his uh, lightsaber. Now, one thing that I really like about this lightsaber, and coming in to take a little bit of a closer look at it, is that the saber itself is kind of a reflection of the character Kylo Ren just in itself and the fact that it's very raw. Uh, people have asked, you know, why does it have the uh, hilt section that kind of blazes out, uh, kind of like uh, what you have right here. And the way that it's explained is that the lens that uses that's used here in the saber itself is cracked, so it vents out along the side resulting in basically this. Now, uh, as you can see, he does come with this extra arm. This is actually pretty cool. This is his light up version of the lightsaber. Uh, this whole section is attached. You can remove these, and this is actually one part that I don't particularly like. These pieces don't stay in here all that well. Uh, well, it, well, now it's going to, but it, most of the time, if you bump it, it falls out. Uh, but you can see that the lightsaber is actually attached to the hand. You can't remove that or anything like that. So that's one thing that's a little bit unfortunate because this arm or this wrist just rotates so you don't get a lot of really cool poses with this you, you, you can't flex the wrist or anything like that it's all locked in here so that is a little bit unfortunate but what you do here is you got the battery compartment you just slide this a little switch on and it lights that up now it's really difficult to see because the lights are on so Turning off some of my lights here, you can see what you basically have. Uh, it, it is a cool effect. I mean, you, you can see that it lights up fairly decently. Um, honestly, though, I mean, it, it's better right here and here. As it gets a little bit further away, you can see that the light kind of 
it gets a little bit dimmer and I'm going to use a Kylo as a background here because it looks a little bit better. Uh, it, it works nicely. I just wish that you could use the wrists a little bit better. As it is, you're just rotating it around, which kind of stinks. And then to turn it off again, you just hit this switch. And then I'll show how to put this actual arm on them. It's fairly easy to do. Uh, but you do have this, and you can remove these pieces. Uh, you can take this off as well. That tabs in there very securely. And you can put them on this part of the lightsaber if you wanted to. Uh, and, and again, uh, getting those all the way in there just like so. Uh, if you wanted to use this hand or something like that, you can get uh, much more dynamic poses with this if you wedge that in there like so. And then you got the standard uh, wrist peg that allows you to articulate it a little bit more. I think it's a little bit better. Uh, and obviously, uh, well, I mean, you're going to have it in this hand more than likely. But I, I think that this is a better option for you. And, and obviously, most people aren't going to have this lit up all the time. So while I think that this is a cool addition, I think that this is a better functioning piece and for some reason these tab in on this a whole lot better than it does on this these don't go in all the way it's like because the light is in there they can't go in as far as they actually do on this and these are very secure in here so this is how i'm going to choose to display my figure so really cool that they include it but it, it it's not uh, the greatest of accessories uh, you can come around here to the side he's got a little uh, clip section right on here that you just take this get his uh, clothing out of the way and probably should zoom back so you can see what I'm actually doing uh, you got this little hook section right here that just slides down in this slot and you can have that displayed on him right there uh, very much like he had it in the film itself so uh, that is definitely a cool option and you got basically weapon storage. Uh, also, you do get his display stand. It just says Star Wars, Kylo Ren, and then it does have the First Order logo on there. Uh, you got this section that just attaches, and then you've got the adjustable cradle right up in here. But accessory-wise, that's it. And like I said, it's kind of a letdown in the fact that he doesn't come with an alternate head. Uh, it would be nice. We did see how he looked before the movie even came out. So it's not like we didn't know what Kylo Ren looked like without his mask. So why they didn't include it, I don't know. That's entirely possible that it was a licensing thing and maybe the actor didn't want to license uh, his likeness or something. So they were just stuck with this. But all in all, this is a really cool looking figure. Now to uh, replace the arm, you come around here on the inside and you got this zipper section right here. You just kind of take this, you got the little thing to hold it, just zip that all the way down. And then you take this sleeve and literally you just roll it up, uh, kind of get it up out of the way here. And then you just grab hold and you pull that out. That's really all you do. And then you take this, you line that back up with the upper part of his arm kind of get that position properly and you know, let's see it's a little bit harder now that the whole sleeve has come down so let's see get that right up there kind of find that notch there you go push that in just like that and then you would bring the zipper down just like so uh, it, it does make it a little bit difficult to actually get to the switch but again if you're going to do it like this, it, it kind of limits some of the poses that you can do. I'm mean, just going to put that on there because you just rotate that around like so here at the bicep. You can rotate it down here a little bit uh, just to kind of get some poses with it. But you're just rotating this around. I really would have liked it if you had the, you know, the wrist flex like the other one has. So you can get some better poses with it. I mean, as it is, it's cool looking. Don't get me wrong, but it's not enough and like I said I'm not going to leave this lit up all the time so it's not enough really for me to leave that arm on there uh, so this is definitely going to be the arm that stays permanently attached to the guy just get that position back up in there give that a nice little push and then you bring the zipper back down uh, the zipper does feel pretty durable uh, it is a very small zipper handle though so it can create some problems when you're trying to get that 
you know, positioned properly or, or whatever. But uh, all in all, I mean, it, it comes across pretty decently getting that zipper all the way down. Uh, but the look on the figure just really does nicely capture how Kylo Ren looked in the film itself. Uh, obviously, he just wore, you know, his black robes, but you can see a lot of the detail in here, especially with the back cape in the fact that it's very tattered, very frayed, uh, great texture on there, kind of a pleated sort of texture, which looks really cool. And as you can see, it captures the light very nicely. Uh, then you come down to the robes, and the robes here along the bottom have a, a wire, so you can kind of position that. On the underside of that, you can see that he does have uh, more outfit stuff, uh, getting this down out of the way. You do have more of the classic kind of robe sort of thing, and then you got some of these really cool the, like thigh guards or something like that right down here and then just obviously standard that pants form uh, unfortunately you can't take any of this stuff off that would have been something i would have liked i would have liked to be able to take his actual uh, cloak off but unfortunately you can't but what you can do is you can actually take this bring this back kind of tuck this under uh get it something like that and you can have a I, I guess more hoodless sort of look for him which I, again i prefer i really love what they did here in terms of the design for the helmet uh it's no secret that kylo really looks up to darth vader he's somebody who is very important in his life and uh, the helmet here definitely kind of throws back and homages the it just overall maybe shape of darth vader's helmet but great detail you got some nice scratches and paint Paint variation in there. I love the silver that they used around the eyes. Uh, unfortunately, it isn't removable. Like I said, you don't get an extra face sculpt. Now, some people said, I'll wait for one that comes with a face sculpt. Who knows if we're going to get it? I, I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, we, we saw what Kylo Ren looked like with his helmet off in some promotional images. So it wasn't like it was a secret or anything like that. So I don't know entirely why they couldn't have given us an, uh, that kind of a head sculpt. But it, unfortunately, that it is what it is. Uh, I hate saying that because it's it just sounds kind of like a cop out. I, I, I just don't have an answer for you. Um, come around here. Does this actually oh, that Velcro's on? So I guess you could remove the belt um, if you really wanted to. I don't know why you would want to because that just flops down then. Um, but the, the sculpt on this is really cool in terms of the helmet. Uh, the, the clothing and the material looks really good. It's very simple, but it's, it's exactly how it should look. Uh, I mean, just really very cool overall. Uh, now, first articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so you get a nice range of motion with that. You can see that it flexes over. You get a lot of range of motion with this guy's head. Uh, the shoulders move forward and back. The uh, material for his uh, actual arms is pretty decent. It doesn't really restrict much. I mean, you can kind of get it all the way around. Obviously, it can't go all the way around, but you, you can get a fairly good range of motion. It moves in and out, rotates at the upper part of the bicep. He does have two bends here at the elbow. Both arms are fully articulated, even though that this one can actually remove, the articulation is the exact same. Uh, getting this up, it kind of feels, I mean, I think that the standard body applies here. So he does have an ab crunch. Uh, you can also rotate it, and then it's got the hip uh, ball joint as well, but uh, the suit does kind of restrict that a little bit but you can get some pretty decent poses still with this regardless uh, the legs do move forward and back you can kind of move these out of the way to get those uh, flexible uh, leg points and things like that so it moves in and out forward and back rotates at the upper part of the thigh does he have two joints yep he's got two joints here at the knee and then you come down to the ankle and the boot is all one piece but you can see that he actually does get a nice range of motion with the foot so you can get it moving forward and back it can tilt in and out just like so so really good range of motion with this guy I, i'm really very impressed with it uh, the wrists you in order to uh, swap out the hands same basic principle uh, you just got that pin joint that pops in and out so i'm gonna put that in there just like so Kind of bring this sleeve over his glove, set him up just like that, get him to stand a little bit for me. All in all, I don't think that this is a bad figure at all. I am a little bit more disappointed in the fact that he doesn't come with as much stuff as I wish he did, specifically an alternate head. But for the price, being a little bit over 200 bucks, it's kind of standard for you know, a simplified hot toy figure.
I think if you're just the general fan of Kylo Ren, who will probably display him with the helmet on anyhow, I think that this is going to be a good piece to pick up. If you want a little bit more of a more intricate kind of display, maybe with him and some of the other characters from the film, you might want to hold off in the hopes that we may get one with the head sculpt of the actor himself. But generally speaking, I really do like this figure. Obviously, the body is going to have the same kind of articulation that we're used to. The outfit looks great. I think that the lightsaber really turned out pretty good. Uh, the light-up one, I'm a little bit meh about, but this works perfectly fine for me. And I love the extra detail on here where it's kind of not a smooth sort of blade. It definitely shows that rage and unfocused kind of power that Kylo Ren just embodies just himself. And I think it's nicely captured in his actual lightsaber. It's a good piece. I, I, I do enjoy having it. So if you're a Star Wars fan, I definitely think that this is one that you're going to want to have added to your collection. So if you'd like to pick him up, he is available at Sideshow Collectibles. So all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Sideshow where you can check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the Sideshow and Hot Toys Star Wars figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous, and until next time, I'll talk to you later.